All right, so this is more of a response to one of the questions on one of my recent videos, the Every Fate Protagonist Battle Royale. And I really appreciate the support you guys are giving on that one. So from Yukami, in another matter, a question from someone who doesn't completely understand fate. What does Frogger Rock do actually? And how does it affect reality marbles? And I did give him the short version, but I had to be brief. And I told him I was gonna make a video about it. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for the patreon you get access to early content and priority on your request so a lot of people are very surprised about how that fight turned out and just how capable Bazette truly is before you even get to her frogger rock and then the frogger rock takes it up to a whole nother level so addressing what frogger rock is frogger rock aka the answerer it's called the retaliator this is not just some basic mystic code like you would see from another Megas. It's even better than Kiritsugu's Contender. It goes all the way up to A rank, and when Bazette is in her servant form, it goes up to EX, and I wanna really lay out the reasons why. Unlike other Mystic Codes, Frogger Rock is an actual Noble Phantasm. It's a real life Noble Phantasm that you will see from an actual servant being used by a human. And it's not just any Phantasm either. It's an ancient sword from the Celtic sea god Mananan, and it was something that was passed down in her family line until it finally got to her. So this has been around for ages, which as you can see, can kind of identify why it has such an abundant power in its own right. If you've seen my Don't Sleep on Bazette, where I discuss what she's capable of, you probably already knew what was going on when you watched that video. But if you haven't, Frogger Rock has taken out multiple servants on record. Bazette has used it to take out Saber. She one-shotted her. She's used it to take out Kukulin in a double KO. She's used it to take out one of the lives of Heracles, all of which being in hollow ataraxia, meaning it's beat out Excalibur and tied with Gable. In Prisma Ilya, she used it to defeat Miyu mid Phantasm while she was using the Medusa card. These are just some of the examples. So right off the bat, this same Phantasm has taken out three top tier servants so for her to use it on somebody like Shiro it's nothing even if it was Emiya if he lets her get this off it's done that's just how strong it is now why does it result that way because the phantasm is a counter I've seen a bunch of people complaining oh you had Shiro go against Bazette that's so unfair and it made me keep thinking of an old saying it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun right it's cool when Shiro counters anybody else but if Bazette does it, it's a crime hilarious but anyway i told you that the phantasm operates a lot like ku's causality reversal which is why when she went up against ku in hollow ataraxia it ended up in a double ko the phantasm works when you use one of your trump cards and it doesn't have to be the trump card it can be any trump card okay once you activate one of your best moves you put yourself in a line of fire for getting one shotted essentially the problem with that is her phantasm takes priority so if you activate the move unless you finish her off before the move is complete then the frogger rock is going straight through your chest i seen somebody else ask well if shiro can scan weapons why didn't he just scan frogger rock the whole basis to shiro scanning weapons is that he has to see them he can't see frogger rock until he activates one of his best moves so for him to even prepare for that he would already have to know what it is and and like I told that person, he knew nothing about Bazette pre-ataraxia. Even if it's a passive phantasm like Heracles' god hand, it's still gonna work. Real phantasm? Doesn't matter. Not a phantasm and one of your best moves? Still gonna work. The only time where this isn't the case and Nasu has addressed this in one of his questions is if Bazette is fighting against an all-around caster who doesn't particularly have a best move. And there are a couple of people 
like that. But even that category is very few and far between. So it really didn't matter who Bazette was going up against. That's just something they would have to deal with. And it's very unfortunate for the other person because they don't know that until it happens. That's the whole point. It's a counter. An extremely good one at that. It just really speaks to her character as a whole. It makes sense that she's the one that has this. The other downside is that Bazette can only carry so much ammo for this weapon at a time. It can only hold up to five at a time, which means she only gets five shots. So it's not like she's just spamming it either. She has to be calculated with it because she only has so many. If you notice the cylinder container that she has, this is what she uses to carry her ammunition. And under most circumstances, she only carries about three or four shots on her at a time. Then she activates it. The ball itself starts to morph into Mononon sword and that's where the phantasm comes in but once she does the actual attack it more so transitions from this sword ball into an actual beam and goes straight through the opponent i know i know it wouldn't be a real sword if it didn't turn into a beam fate right it's really tough she would give anybody a hard time it didn't have to be shiro it could have been kirisugu it could have been Ilya. it does not matter and you had the original owner mononon pass the sword on to Lu, who if you don't know is kukulin's real father his divinely father which is another reason why it makes so much sense for them to be paired together in story she's literally using ku's father's phantasm i'm telling you not Asu comes with it. So that's their thing. That's something that her family, the Fragas, earn as a right from their devotion to the ancient gods. They bless them with this phantasm and not just that, but the access to runes in general. That's how she can use those too. The craziest part about it is that she hasn't even mastered the weapon yet at the time of the story, at the time of Ataraxia. So given a Bazette that's older than the one that we have now, it would be even better than that. I mean, people are talking about how unfair Bazette is. Bazette doesn't even have anything in her kit. The only thing that Bazette has, her hands, her runes, and her Frogger Rock. That's her whole kit. And she will dog walk most of the people in the verse, master wise, as long as they're not, of course, warping reality or doing things weird like that. That's a whole nother category. And then she can get those people too, if she can get to them first, like Monica, for instance. No need to be discouraged by what you saw there. It's easily one of the best phantasms and mystic codes. Now you guys know why she was barred from the war. We would have no story. So how do you beat it? you don't <laughs> you just don't let her use it that's the thing you don't let her use it you don't use one of your trump cards or you find a way to stop her mid sequence if that's even possible for you and then later on in fgo we got the huge surprise of bazette becoming a pseudo servant and the person that took over her body was actually mononon himself and that's the reason why the phantasm becomes ex in that form because now it's actually him it just makes total sense 